two. We just break it semi-finals. Yeah, here we go. I'm on uh, Cypher's point of view, getting the railgun early. And um, also the mega health. So he should know that uh, Evil has the red armor. But, uh, oh. And yeah, well played that Cypher knew that Evil might be going for that and didn't go through the teleporter. So he doesn't have any armor to play with, but at least he hasn't taken any damage. So that's good, I guess. He's been taking those shards, so that's gonna like give a tiny bit of more health. Oh, misses the rail on the red. That would have been an important shot hit, but he goes back Let's for it. Double back. Yeah, he gets another one. Life is gonna just stop to get out of there. Ooh, oh, yeah, he knew the that he evil. was gonna watch that angle. That's like when you hear the teleporter, there's uh, such a long straight lane there that you can just watch with the rail again. Red armor's gonna be uh, Oh, Evil pushing in with the LG, and that is a frag. And look at his stack. Evil getting his yeah. open 200, 200. Cypher was really looking to deal more damage with those rockets there. Even and that's a uh, very typical Evil move there. Yeah, he just. Without stacking Cypher and just put on the aggression with that LG. Catching opponents off guard with a straight push and just getting the frag. Nice roll from Cypher. Cypher's had no armors this game so far. Finally he's gonna pick himself his first yellow. And that's his, actually his first armor of the game. Yeah. At least he can pick up some shards. Oh, evil landing kind of a fuck done just a while ago, but not continuing with that. Rail. Evil, evil pushed again through the teleport. A nice rocket from Cypher, but he can't afford to go back in. 33 health here. Wow. So much damage there from Evil. Cypher looks to back up and a uh, little spam shot there doesn't land it. Gonna go around, maybe. Actually, he's gonna go back around here and uh, steal that red. Nice little steal from Cypher. He got two rails for it though, so. Yeah. Evil doing good, uh, keeping up with making the sure to punish. And that yellow is up on the spot. I wonder if Cypher's gonna go for it. It's Cyberwatch just waiting for him. Just to land some rocket damage. If that works, Evil are going for the red armor. Ooh. <laughs> Cyber playing is very slow today. I mean, uh, yeah. he doesn't want to make any mistakes in Evil, but on the other hand, he's giving him a lot of respect. And uh, if you remember what Cooler said about playing against Evil, that's exactly what you should not be doing. Absolutely. Evil almost feeds off the respect that you give him. Yeah. Like it doesn't want to let Evil get this cleaning. He does a little bit of splash damage, but nowhere near enough. And Evil on 170, 170. Make that 170, 200 now after getting that yellow. So Evil once again looking very, very strong. Yeah, 200, 200 stack on Evil and he's watching this mega health. And he lands, lands a rocket there. There's just no chance Cypher can do much on this item. Finding it's actually good rockets there. Wiggling oh, a lot of the stack from down. Evil. Yeah, that rocket from Evil was just brutal. Evil spamming, yeah, looking for a rail shot on that 50 health bubble. Trying to see if Cypher's gonna fall for it, but Cypher actually lands decent rail. Evil is able to pick up that red armor, so. Has something to play with again, but Cypher he needs to be doing more damage here. Oh jeez, the LG from down. Evil. So devastating. Good push there by Evil. Yeah. Sweet as Hero though. Even though it's been Evil in the driving seat for the whole game, Cyber hasn't been leaking frags too much. 2-0 two to zero is still uh, very manageable. And um, now he's actually doing good damage. Going for the red armor, but he's not gonna make it there alive. Just yeah, jumping down was... a bit too early, I think. Yeah, it was a silly drop from Cyber. He didn't have an LG and... Uh, Evil just kept that mid-range distance and actually a pretty easy frag for Evil. Yeah, yeah Evil uh, managed, managed to track him right through the air. Cypher could have been working on the top level instead and then dropped down uh, from the jump pad or the actual red armor hole. But uh, he opted to go down on Evil's LG instead. Again, Evil using the distance well with that LG spamming. Spamming rockets and then pushing in with the LG, spamming rockets, pushing in with the LG, and here we go, Evil again with the LG, getting himself a fourth frag there. And uh, things are not looking good for Cypher at the moment. 
Oh, man. Every time Cypher sticks his head out, he just so much damage from Evil. Ah, oh, Cypher completely missing the jump, and this could oh be another frag God. to Evil. 5 to 0, Cypher. What is going on? I was that expecting Cypher been. to use the smiley, but I, instead he's typing something else in the chat. I don't know yeah. what that means, but uh, maybe someone in the chat will know. Probably it's nothing nice. I know we do have enjoying the chat who definitely would uh, translate that as for us. Yeah, let's see if someone can give us a translation. Is Cypher still playing? Yeah, it looks like he is, but I don't think he's out of it. I mean, it's still four minutes, six tries, completely doable. Cypher just needs to get his head back into this game. Oh, okay, it looks like Airman <laughs> translated to someone shooting <laughs> Okay, it's like they're probably just... Yeah, he's still uh, not happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Airman. Cypher, could he be getting himself the first frag here? No. Unable to finish. <laughs> yeah, that's a sad fate. Yeah, that's disappointing. Cypher really needs to finish properly here. Ah, oh, 7 to 0 now. Ah, there we go. Nice little constellation frag for Cypher. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. See? Actually, not too bad. Cypher knows that Evil is still around there with that railgun looking for that shot. He doesn't want to jump out just yet. Guys playing with each other, yeah, and actually. R roles have been reversed. Yep, Cypher going for the Cypher might angles. be uh, losing out here on this mega health. Oh man, that is so unfortunate. Evil finds the rail shot. Cypher on 9 health. He's going to be able to get this red armor, but he's still very, very low here. Uh, surely Evil is around somewhere. So he's gonna go through the teleport, the red armor is gonna be up soon, and he's gonna get the position quickly and the red armor, but the time is slowly running out, two and a half minutes left for Cypher, he's gonna get the red armor. <laughs> Evil lands a rail, that's a cheeky angle there, but um, you should be expecting for that anyway. Oh, there's there we go, one rail. And the Mega. Yeah, Cypher's got a bit of a stack here, he just doesn't have time on his hands. So I've just heard a drop sound uh, quite a while ago on the red, but it uh, apparently was further away. I think he just heard that yellow being picked up, and this could be another frag for Cypher. Evil manages to worm his way out of there, and Cypher's just gone in AFK again. I think he's felt the Probably frustration. Probably something. Yeah, I think he maybe he feels that should have been a frag or something. Nah, he's not even typing anything. Yeah, he's just, like just, he just gave up. Left. <laughs> oh, what can I say? GG Evil, and Evil's guaranteed a spot here in the grand final. Of course, it's going to be a. Uh, I think it's a one game advantage. I don't think the final is going to be a best of three. It's two best of ones. So two best of ones. There we go. A best of three on a single map would kind of be silly. There were, well, there were some people asking Nico to change the rule there. Yeah. And uh, of course, Cypher, it's not over for him. He's going to be dropping down into the brackets. Yeah, he's not happy. And, uh, let's see if we can let's see if we can pick up some games there. All right, let's check it out. Um, so it looks like Pavel Sparty is happening, and the winner of that is going to play Kilson. Oh, a good that's game. cool. Demon is also playing against Chronic at the moment, and uh, apparently he's uh, beating him four to three. Do you have that? Uh, oh, Pavel's here. I got it. Never mind. Oh boy, let's check it out. We haven't seen too much of Sparty today. We saw him lose against Demon early on, but that's it. Oh, 
Oh, there's some uh, too many circles. Which game are you going in? I mean, uh, Paddle's party. Uh, is yeah, so it's almost uh, done, but it's a tight game. Two minutes left. And, uh, sp let's see. Yeah, it's Paolo who has the stack advantage here. He seems to be firmly in control. I don't know what support is gonna do. Probably just gonna hang back for some uh, rails. Like he tried on the mega, but not quite landing the shot. And uh, not even able to go for the red. Good LG there by Pavel. Pavel should be getting the frag. He can't land the rail. Can't land the second one either. And Pavel's gonna secure himself this red armor and go for the yellow. Or not. Even the Chronic game looks really close, but I can't seem to get myself into the, into the password. One minute warning. There we go. Pal just uh, cycling this item. Sprite is probably looking to get an overtime or something. But he's getting hit. He's getting hit hard by Pal's rockets. And, um. Uh, yeah, Sprite not even getting himself a yellow armor. Powell just bullies him out there. And he, he must be screaming. Take it. There we go. Powell getting the lead 30 seconds to go. And um, Pavel wielding a massive stack as well. 100 health, 200 armor. Sparty doesn't have anything. And he should be going down to a single rail. But Sparty keeps landing rails on Pavel. He's still trying. That is good to see. There we go. Okay, he does go down 10 seconds left. That's the GG, I guess. Yeah, looks like uh, Demon actually won his game versus Chronic. He's going up against Ash next, which should be pretty good. Oh yeah, and let's check that game out for sure. Who won, who won this party Pavel game? Uh, Pavel just won it 8-6. to six. Oh nice, so Pavel's actually going up against Kilson next. Okay. Actually, do you want to go for the Kilton game or the yeah, Demon what Ash? Do you... I'm up for either of them. I really we asked both, actually. Yeah, chat. What do you guys want? Demon Ash or Kilson versus Pavel? I th I'm actually leaning more towards the Pavel Kilson game. We haven't seen much of Kilson yet. Yeah, oh, well, that's a fair one point. Game, so. I agree. Okay, it looks like yeah, yeah, people, people are saying going. Kilson. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. That game. No problem. No problem. Uh, as soon as we get the server going on, should be really good. I mean, uh, we haven't seen too much of Kilson today, so more is more. <laughs> Everyone is saying Kilson. <laughs> yeah, no one to see Demon Ash. I want to see Demon Ash, but uh, majority is majority. That's good. Right, all right. Um, did you have a Kilson on a, or a, or a Powell on the server? I was actually in the server with Powell just a while ago, but I don't know if he's there anymore. Maybe not. I'm gonna check it out if I can find them somewhere around here. the admins. If we get both of these games that would be even better, but I don't know. What's with the, this uh, mayonnaise talk in the chat? What the hell? I'm gonna feel something about Mayonnaise chat. Mayonnaise chat? Yeah. What? It's party and the mayonnaise factory. I, I really don't know mayonnaise. what's going on in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know Sparty has some things to do with protein bars, but that's another thing. I don't want to know about Sparty's mayonnaise, please. <laughs> Are you sure? Are yeah. you 100% sure? <laughs> Maybe a little? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Okay. That's fair enough. Let's keep it at that. Sparty's oh, wait. Here are the dogs. Nice. Chat just went full, full on mayo. <laughs> You know, I really don't understand people who have mayo with everything. If those people actually exist. It's it's just weird. Mayo with French fries. That's kind of understandable. It's kind of like having ketchup with French fries. I understand both, I guess. Both are just fine. But uh, like having everything with mayo, that's the thing. 
putting mayo on uh, bread and so on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we do have kills some Pavel. Excellent. Excellent. Let's get into the server and let's get this game underway so we don't awesome. have to talk about Sparty and his mayonnaise. It's kind of getting awkward. Kind of. Oh, and that server demon is also starting. Boss Boss is saying mayo is better than a ketchup. I'm not going to take part in that. I, I'm not going to compare them head to head. They all both have their places. Ooh. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. But I'm not a fan of mustard, for one. Really? I quite yeah. like mustard. It's got its place as well, I must say. Yeah, I, li I like it in very few places, but um, very in many what's places that, I like to have... What's that weird Finnish stuff they were talking about? Bungie or... What's that? Sorry? That weird Finnish food that looks like Bume or whatever it is. Oh, you mean uh, Mami, the Easter dessert Ma we have? Mami, yeah. <laughs> What's it? Mami. Mami is good. I love it. I actually haven't had Mami yet this year and Easter is soon, so they're already in the stores. I should what what is it exactly? It's like, um, I don't know how to really uh, describe it. It's kind of like rye pudding, I suppose. But. Um, yeah, it's kind of like bitter and sweet at the same time, and uh, you usually have it either with uh, milk, cream, or like vanilla sauce. I really like the vanilla sauce. Some people like to have it just with sugar, but it, it's okay that way as well. But that's kind of dry. I should really buy some bambi, I need it on the stream. Look, looks like... Think? Uh... <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. People should uh, Google man me if you can actually type the uh, letter. Things are weird. Nah, we're not weird. We're the best. Okay, what's happening here on the server? I don't know. Waiting for uh, kills and pal to start. They're, uh, I don't know what they're arguing about. Something in yep. uh, some chat in Russian uh, with uh, Pavel, Kuder, and Nico. And yeah, I don't know. Disconnected in the end of that conversation, so uh, Pavel also disconnected. So uh, so everyone play okay. single player. Okay. Poor old Kilson. Everyone leaves him. He's so alone in here, just jumping around. Okay, there we go. Switch server. That's understandable. Coolio, Coolio. All right, guys. So just waiting on these uh, two to switch server, and we'll be getting you that game. What is this picture that Kozil is posting? Uh, I think the URL seems to be broken, or no? It's just yeah, it's some weird Polish website. <laughs> some uh, some mayo and a man with a fat cat. Okay. I don't know what to say uh, about this picture, Koziel. Yeah. Some weird Polish mayonnaise. Yeah. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. <laughs> and a cooler pick in the chat, that's good. We can always trust Sly Guy Badass with this um, <laughs> amazing Quake-related <laughs> pictures. Like, What's on Kula's uh, face? It could be cooler, it could be Avec, it could be me and my headphones. But um, we know that uh, Sly Guy Badass has all those picks. We can always count them in. Yeah. Does Kula have a tattoo on his stomach there? What's that? Uh, hold on, let me check it again. I guess he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. Didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, do you have info about the new server for Kills and Pavel? Yeah, it looks like the server is up. Hopefully, uh, we'll get into this soon. Okay. Don't know the password yet, but I can see the server. Try some things. It might be Pavel server. They were gonna pick Sweden, if I recall correctly. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it is Pavel's password. Okay, goodio. 
I'm gonna follow you and let's get the game going. There we go. I wonder what map they're gonna play. I wonder when people are gonna get tired of this this joke. <laughs> Probably like 20 minutes ago when I said it previously. Alright, we do have Powell here just waiting for Kilson to join. And let's get this game on, on the way as well. Oh look, people are saying something about my headphones being big. <laughs> How surprising. It's always fun. Okay, so we're just waiting on Kilson and then uh, we'll have this game ready for you. Yep, and uh, of course this is loser bracket uh, round four. Winner of this will go against base, so there's gonna be even more of a challenge there. And uh, at the same time, Ash and Demon are playing against each other, and winner of that will go against the Mad Ball. But yeah, just waiting for Kilson to get him here, get himself here. There we go, Sly Guy Badass is coming up with the pictures. Everything's perfect. And we do have a on the server as well, so... Without much further delays, this game should be starting. Yeah. Okay, cool stuff. This is good. Hold on, what is this? <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, it's Princess Leia. <laughs> I like the comment from Omek. If I would ever encounter Shvold around without his headset, I wouldn't recognize him. Yeah. yeah. That could be I don't hard. think anyone knows what you look like. Maybe you don't <laughs> even have ears. <laughs> Maybe. It's a secret. But uh, a lot of people call this a headset, even though it's just headphones. There's no microphone here. I don't see the point of getting a headset when I, when I already have a good microphone. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah. Okay, so Pavel is yeah. getting uh, kills around 40. Maybe this guy's... A little bit of debate here on the pings. Yeah. Your side has funds. There's actually well, like battles ready, so I okay, guess that means good. they're gonna pay him. Yep. Prepare to fight. And kills him as well. Finally, we're getting this game on the way. Even though there's um, no map picks Three, that take time, there's all the ping problems. One. But those are sorted now. And uh, I'm on a paddle spawn of you as he spawns so around the railgun. I go for the mega health first after listening to them some sound of kills. Here we go, Kilson's here with the LG. Yep, playing aggressive and that oh, rocket, nice that rocket. last rocket, completely eliminating Pavel's mega health. And um, Kilson having the right armor, he's with a stack advantage. But uh, it's not a huge advantage at this point, since Pavel did get that yellow armor, he got some um, five bubbles to boost his health as well. Yeah, he's got a couple of shots as well. There we go, Kilson just found him. Mm, switch to rail in time. And uh, Pavel is in the red room at the moment. He uses the jump hat. Kilson should be still around. Oh, just a tiny, tiny bit of damage and playing his passive. Finally going for the red army. Doing some um, cheeky movements around the map to just to throw Kilson off a bit. And uh, Kilson also went for the mega health. So it's a clean split for both players. Oh. Good rail there by Kilson, of course. Oh, things are actually still fairly quiet. We had an explosive start, but uh, not been much since then. There we go, both players missing those rail shots. How disappointing. Mega's gonna be up soon. And uh, Pavel already in position and teleporter. And Ooh. oh, that nade from Kilson. Just as Pavel lands a dive back at it, Kilson lands a nade. And, uh, 
Both put it landing a lot of damage. I don't know who's yeah. gonna be taking the mega health in the end. Pavel has the position, so he's gonna jump for it. Kilson not having the rail out. He's already at the red armor. He's gonna be getting that. But he's Ooh. taking a lot of damage from the LG. Wow. Don't know if Pavel wants to stay in for the frag. Just going for the frail shots. Both players missing all those shots. Again, not much LG damage there from Pavel. Yeah, but uh, he's not well stacked either. So, he's not doing too bad. There we go, Pavel gets the next red and Kilson looking for a shot there. Only a little bit of rocket splash. He's gonna be able to get this mega health. Pavel looking for the rail shot. Yeah, Pavel has the angle. And yeah, he there does we go. Free any damage for Pavel. Red arm again for Pavel. I don't see Kilson running in here. Doesn't really have any reason to. Doesn't have that much more stack or more stack at all. Just going for the trail shots. Land one of them. Yeah, it's always risky. I mean, we saw Kilson earlier just landing back to back rails, but it's so difficult against Pavel. The uh, Mega's gonna be up in two seconds. Is Kilson gonna jump for it again? Pavel again looking for that rail angle. Kilson playing quite passively and um, Pavel being very careful with all those angles but Kilson still finds a rail and he's gonna assault the red arm area he landed two rails, two rails. he's going in with the LG stuff. but look at those rockets from Pavel those are the Russian rockets we are talking about those completely saved Pavel then yeah just completely devastated Kilson but uh, Kilson still keeps himself alive he got the yellow armor and he's still keeping up with the rail shots one more rail here, ooh, Pavel's so so low. And Kilson switches to the LG, but Pavel not showing himself. Just gonna yeah. escape, leave the mega health to Kilson. And um, now it's Kilson with his stack advantage. Pavel just gotta rely on his rockets again to keep himself alive. Yeah, Pavel's very low at the moment, 32 health. That 138 armor. So he does manage to get that red, so he's not looking too bad, but he needs some health bubbles. Let's find a 25. Already in the bottom uh, red area, and Pavel landing a nade in a rocket, dealing a lot of damage and kills and suiciding, and that's basically the first frag for Pavel. Yeah. Even if technically not a frag. Kills land a couple more rails here. He lands one. One more will kill Pavel. Now it's going to be Pavel with the LG, and there we go. Pavel with the two frag advantage now. Of course, Kilson having killed himself. Very awkward really, yeah. here. Yeah. Ooh, nice rockets from Kilson, but Pavel was playing with his own there. Yeah, Pavel with the three frag lead now. Kilson's in trouble here. Yeah, there we go. Pavel extending his lead by four frags now, and uh, things are not looking so good for Kilson. It was a very, very slow first few minutes of this game, and now all of a sudden Pavel with a four frag lead. Oh, rocket for Kilson. Rocket. Yeah. And this could buy him the mega health. <laughs> Pavel, Pavel misses the jump. Kills and Kills and Kills Kills and falling. also yeah. gets sent down. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> that's terrible. So sad. Kills and get out of there. Yeah, he's gonna look to. Pavel. Missing his shots there. That was actually a pretty easy rail, the, the second one. Kilson gonna be able to come back into this, I wonder. This seems like such a slow game. Yeah, it, it started out really slow and uh, Kilson losing out on the first frag and Pavel not losing out on anything really. And it's kind of trapped there, he can still drop down and then escape. Ooh, like Pavel's rockets. rockets, yeah. Pavel's rockets have been amazing today. Yeah. And... They do call him the cosmonaut. For a good reason. Oh, again, Kilson not quite getting the frag. Kilson not landing those important rockets when he's going in for the frag. I mean, 
it's just sometimes so frustrating when you land like 10 to 20 damage per shot when you're close range and your opponent just keeps uh, landing steady damage instead. And then yeah. you lose all the damage when you should be getting it. But uh, that's quick. Well, Tilson's trapped at the 50 health bubble, manages to get up just in time. This could be another fragment pat. Ooh. Good pressure from Tilson, nice little spell from him. We'll have to get, at least get a frag on the board. Oh, but it's Pavel who gets that red armor and kills him in trouble again. Kills him does the kind of rails you can't miss. So actually, Pavel's managed to stack himself back up there. He was looking a little bit, a little bit shaky, but too bad now. Kills him going for the mega health. And uh, all of a sudden, Kilson out stacking Pavel. Can he get a frag here? That's all to get a first and kills and attacking. And this time, he's actually landing good damage with the rockets. And Pavel has to quite 23 health. No! It's, it's Pavel getting the frag. This is not looking good for Kilson at all. I'm gonna switch this point of view since we haven't watched him at all, really. This match. Yeah. And he really gotta make something happen. <laughs> oh, why didn't he go in with a Pavel? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, Playing some ninja play there just for laughs. I had no clue where kills him. Alright, kills him, getting himself the red armor. This is good. He has the railgun, he has uh, the rockets, he has the LG, he has everything he needs. Now he just needs to land some sick shots. Yeah, it's a lot to ask of kills him though. Eight frags in two minutes. Not yeah. impossible, but it's looking very unlikely at the moment. Pavel's just landing some crazy shots. Those what? nades. Kills is so low oh, and Pavel but... lands the rail to finish it as well. Looks like Kilson didn't even try that. Completely stepping on Pavel's grenades and then just that rail finish. Again, Kilson missing these crucial rails here. Yeah, if he, if he wants any hope of doing anything, he needs a frag now. I think it's a bit too late, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's far too late. One minute warning. Can't see anything happening here anymore. I wonder if there's any uh, results from the Demon Ash game. I'm gonna try and find out. I thought Demon said in the chat that uh, he actually oh. lost to Ash. Yeah, he lost to Ash 11 to 6. Oh, congratulations, he's Ash. And the kills are so, getting himself out of negatives, finally. Finally. And of course, the winner of this game is going to go up to face uh, base. And uh, Ash is in round five of the losers bracket against Madball. So, uh, a few more good games to come. And of course, the winner of all of this goes on to face e uh, well, Cypher in the losers bracket final, and then of course, Evil in the grand finals. There we go. Just 10 seconds left, I don't think we have much to say about this game anymore. Uh, Kills and not just on top of his game at the moment. Not some at all. Practice. Just some absolutely ridiculous rockets from Pavel. Well, let's get that uh, base game, I guess. Hold on, let's see. Brackets, brackets, brackets. Or should we, uh, should we watch Madball Ash? Base Pavel, guys, I think you decide. We, base Pavel could be interesting. I mean, we saw we saw a, a few yeah. base Pavels already in the, the grand final. Base the taking all of them. Oh, well, did. except for one, I think. Oh yeah, he lost, he lost one of the. Um, uh, lost four games. Grand finals, yeah. That is correct. Yeah, yeah why not? Let's watch Ash Mad, but we haven't seen. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Ash at all today, have we? I don't think we have. So I want to see Ash play. Ash is a cool guy. There's no denying that. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna check if Ash is on the same server where he was playing Demon. Maybe he is. Uh, yeah, that server is full at the moment. Oh really? Well, that just sucks. Oh, they've already played for five minutes. Let's go for the base uh, base game then. 
Sorry about that, guys. Oh, uh, okay. So now we just gotta find base and paddle. I think Ash is actually leading that game five to zero, but that's oh, just cool. what the uh, the API is telling me. Can't really trust that. Yeah, I mean it, it's delayed information. Could yeah. be already even a game, but uh, we never know. <laughs> ZTN one map cup. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Have there been any ZTN one map cups? No one I don't think so. Why would anyone have ZTN one map cup? King of Blood Run. Yeah. Um, do you know if uh, Pavel is creating a server or something? Uh, I hope so. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. Do you have uh, Pavel on Friends or something? So you can see. I've added a lot of these guys to my friends list, but I guess they don't want to be my friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a sad feeling. Very sad. Ash is my friend, though. That's good too. Nice guy. I need yeah. to add him on a Quake collab as well. I have him on Steam, but I don't think I'll have him on Quake yet. Quake collab front list is kind of tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's. I wouldn't say the best in terms of organizing friends. But uh, it's still uh, nice to see like where your friends are playing. You can see them on a server and yeah, so on. Yeah. That's super handy. Always like, useful. Uh, in an alternative universe, we would be joining with the direct IPs all the time or just going through servers and trying to find our body there. And that that would be interesting. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, let's see. Do you have anything else to talk about at the moment? 125 FPS Pro League. Yeah, Kelson is playing in the next Pro League and uh, after seeing today's performance from him, he really needs to step up his practice game. Just well, hey, maybe it's practice just, duels. Maybe it's just dismemberment that he's not that comfortable on. Although, you know, he does know the map. He's We thought he was pretty good at it, but yeah, Pavel proving to be too much for him. Yeah, I mean, it, he really didn't look like he was... Uh, hitting those rails like he should be. He wasn't using the LG at yeah. all. And uh, overall just his combat skill weren't on top. And we are in, we do know Kilson for his amazing railgun. So yeah, just some more practice and maybe more deal practice instead of just Klein Arena. Yeah, I mean, he looked really solid against Elaine Hayes, but then he lost to Madball and now he's lost to Pavel. So yeah, you know, Kilson perhaps a little rusty. Yeah, maybe. Can't, can't blame him, I Seems suppose. like it. Yeah, last year, like 100 days ago before today. So that explains. Maybe he's a busy man in real life. That could be the case. That's the case yeah, with a lot of the players. He's, yeah, he's got a family and all that. So hence why he hasn't been playing too many cups lately. Well, I'm happy he plays something. Yeah, it's good to absolutely. See. Uh, let's just wait on this. Yeah, go Don't check if uh, Pavel has created a new server. What I really would like to see this game starting. Hmm. All right, cool. They've got the server up. Let's get ourselves in there. Excellent. This is good. And of course, guys, this is going to be a bit of a rematch of the Sunday Cup. If anyone, any of you watched that, you will know that uh, there was some pretty crazy, crazy stuff that happened there. Base, of course, coming out on top, but Pavel put in a really solid performance that, that Cup. Yeah, Pavel was not doing bad at all. And uh, Pavel, of course, also played very solid in the FPS Post Launch Cup earlier on this year. Yeah, yeah, came second, I believe, in that Cup. Yep, he did playing the grand final against the evil, beating the likes of Cypher and so on. Uh, why is my password incorrect? Yeah, so is mine. 
Hmm. Okay. Interesting. This kind of problem. And looks like Ash won the game against Madball, so Ash is in the losers round six, and he's going to play the winner of this game that we're getting ourselves into now. Good to see Ash hasn't given up yet. He's really doing good. And uh, of course, the winner of uh, Ash and whoever wins this is going to go against Cypher, and that's always interesting. And yeah, of course, as expected, he will sitting in the winner's bracket already, waiting for the loser's bracket to finish. Yeah, this looks more like, you know, what you can expect from a tournament these days, but on Sunday, I mean, Cypher out early, EVO out early, Agent out early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is was... going more like traditional today. Yeah. Okay, we do have uh, the actual password this time. All right, looks like this is working, and uh, yeah. Losers bra final game of the losers bracket round five, it's base versus Pavel, and I I'm gonna favor base once more here. Looking really really solid at the moment. Yeah. Let's see if uh, a bit Pavel of can match. pull an upset. I mean, his aim uh, from the games we saw earlier today, basically only saw him play against Evil, but he wasn't quite landing those rails we saw on Sunday. So if his uh, shape isn't the same same as back then, it could be a different outcome. So I wouldn't rule Pavel out yet, by any means. Okay, Pavel is alive, waiting for a base to activate. And cool. then we're getting this game going. Alright, looks like base is alive as well, and okay, uh, hopefully get this game underway. We'll tell these guys we're ready. Yep. This should be good. This should be really good. Plus, plus is saying he got six frags against base in the sun deck up. Nice. If it actually went that way, that's actually pretty nice, even if you lost it twice. Okay. I mean, I, I got some frags against Hell 9000 in Reflex, and uh, that was quite a fun. You got like 30 frags. <laughs> I got one frag against Evil once. Nice. Yeah, thank you guys. That's beautiful. Yeah. Just waiting for uh, for the players. I don't know what's going on. Neutrino joining in the spec case. Of course, Neutrino and base play each other a lot. Under their quite good friends. Prepare to okay, there we go. Finally. All right, here um, we go, guys. Losers round five. And winner will go against this. Ash. Let's yeah, uh, it goes against two, Ash. Let's uh, watch base of this point. Since uh, we haven't seen him too much, he's gonna get a uh, rocket launcher early. Oh, you got dropped out from the I server. Picked. Yeah, oh. just rejoin. Base getting the red armor as well, so he has two of those important weapons the LG and the rocket. And uh, he should know that Pavel just got the yellow and the mega. Base not yet having the red gun, and we know how important that is in his play and overall when playing this map. Just camping on that mega health. It's almost like watching CS or something. There you go, and base jumping it for his right away. Paolo going for the trail shot, but no damage dealt. Very slow damage, damage exchange. There you go, finally we're having an encounter near the yellow armor as base goes to pick it up. And uh, yeah. Both players have picked each item once, if I understood correctly. Full on LG there by base, dealing so good damage. From base, yeah. 
uh, base is going to look to keep Pebble in here as long as possible. Have to delay that Mega a little bit. It's going to be up in a couple of seconds. Base landing a shot. Can he get the second rail out? Oh, he's looking for a safe angle and does find it. And his opponent spawned near the teleport as well. So, another chance for a rail shot. He's just going to sit, sit back. Just watch those angles. Double double backing through the teleporter, spamming these rockets here, and base just never. <laughs> well, actually, he's one of those. Crazy stuff. Base has the tiny angle there, and he's not even going for it. Interesting jump there from Pavel. I didn't even see him jump across with the mega. Oh, he used oh, there to we go. Base going with surprise bind. It's an excellent bind. Yeah, and both these guys know each other so well by now. Uh, yeah, they should. Base. Neither one well, and look at that rocket from Such Pavel. A rocket there. Amazing. Yeah. And the base for to escape. He doesn't want to lose us on his uh, one frag lead yet. Just. Uh, He's very vulnerable critical. at the moment. Pavel's sitting on 100, 100, so this could be dangerous for base. Yeah, he's not even gonna go for it. He heard the teleporter yeah. sound that made sure that he's gonna drop down for this 50 bubble. I mean, he can take one rail now. Yeah, and uh, he was listening around there for that yellow armor pickup, knew it didn't come, so felt it safe to pick it up himself. And all items are going to be spawning at exactly the same time. Them rockets from wow. both players, but Pal with the stack out of Antwish gets the frags out of it. I'm surprised the surprise bind, the bind didn't uh, come out there. Yeah, I no that wasn't Pebble a pleasant was surprise. Okay. okay, all items spawning at the same time. Pal getting the mega, base getting the red armor. And uh, I will not spotting base there. Yeah, but he knows he's still there. Yep, and lands the rail, so that's the important part. Nice shot. Base doesn't have the rail again, so... Can't really go for those shots. We know yeah, but he, he did well to uh, push Pebble out of the room there. Yep. Using what he had. It's sort of, I guess. Oh, Pebble with the rocket stop, but it's going to be base getting the frag there. Wow. So, so close. Base and, uh, 25. Yeah, and... Pavel actually got the mega spawn, so things looking good once again from Pavel right off the spawn there. Okay, I base has been able to restack himself, but uh, still, he's got to work to keep this ready for himself. That's one direct rocket. And uh, Ooh, another direct another. rocket. Okay, now it's time to leave the area. He has dealt the damage, and now it's time to get some position on the other items, or even take the yellow armor. Here's uh, Seize Powell. Gotta jump for it. Well, there we go. It didn't Presser take much base, damage yeah, at all. Able to finish. Nice. Good. Well placed rocket in the end there. But, uh, oh, Powell with the real spawn. Very that was nice. the surprise again. Oh, Powell, Powell left on five health. Oh. Base. Was that a direct rocket? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, the best way to finish someone with five health. <laughs> and yeah, base with a 42 lead. And uh, five minutes left in the game. Ooh, that's a one for one there, but Pavel came out worse off. Can't afford to take another rail. Five minute warning. Pebble for some more angles. Trying to avoid these angles. Yeah, Pebble is 66 health, so he's very railable at the moment. He does land one himself. And finally, he's going to go for the. Yeah, he gets a clean mega. That's good for Pavel. Just playing careful here, listening for sounds. Mega's going to. Uh, Red's going to be spawning in five seconds. Base has no idea where Pebble is. Oh, now he spotted him in the chairs. <laughs> nice, the stair chairs, the stairs, I mean. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was like, where the <laughs> <What>? chair? <laughs> <laughs> They're just playing musical chairs with the rocket launcher here. Ooh, Pavel with the LG, that's so much damage there, but Base actually double back in with his LG himself, and beautiful finish in the end. Good rockets from Pavel, though. He was left with 30 health after that, and uh, getting a 25 bubble after it. Uh, base has just run out of rails. Unlucky for him, and he's actually just gonna go back around onto this red armor. 
don't have any, anything else to do there with that mega. Yeah, looking good for base so far. A bit less than four minutes left than base. Watching the LG. Or maybe listening for some sounds. Could it be either. And that's fine, Pavel. Pavel rather finds him. Yeah, base maybe knowing that Pavel didn't have an LG there. Base very early here on this mega health, and he actually loses out on the red armor. On there first, he would have had enough time to come back around for Omega. Oh, Oof. That, wow, was... that was so close to being that... a city frag, yeah. I, I guess kind of scary there. And the base just escaping, getting a lot of damage from Pebbles LG. But I still make it out alive somehow. Red armor's gotta be up, and Ooh, nope, Pavel nice can't stick Pavel. around. I mean, base, and Pavel goes for it. There we go. If that wouldn't have been a frag, yeah, I would be yeah. surprised. Pebble did so well with that rail there. Pebble still didn't pick up the red armor, so he's gonna throw base off with the timing. Quite a large delay. And base actually got down to the 50 health bubble without touching the jump pad. I didn't know you could do that. A little uh, move there. Kind of dropped on the side of the jump pad. That's the worst. Yeah, I gotta check it out. Pretty cool. I learn something new every day. Okay. Oh, direct rocket from base oh. and another one up the jump pad. But Pavel, way too stacked there. Yeah, and Pavel also returning with excellent rockets of himself, getting the yellow armor now, and um, it's gonna be quite a while before any items spawn, and this should be another frag for. Oof. What's actually gonna be a mutual frag? What? And... That was crazy. Still only one frag difference between these guys. Very, very close here. Two minutes left in this game. And uh, I must say, I have no idea what's going to happen. Well, Could there's another split. Yeah, not split on the major items. Don't know what uh, base is doing waiting here. He's probably just afraid of those rail angles. He's sure that Pavel is watching. I'm going to check what Pavel's actually doing. Pavel's not nearby. Base Pavel's is just done by the LG time. at the moment. Pa base doesn't have a rocket launch. What is he doing? It's like he's AFK oh or something. Oh, what base, the hell, what base? <laughs> really? What was that about? That was weird. Not even getting himself the rocket launcher. And that's like crucial in that kind of situation. Well, yeah. There we go, Pavel taking the lead with one minute left and he's gonna get himself a red armor. Things are not looking good for base. How's he gonna come back into this? Well, he's gonna get the rail gun and then he's gonna land four rails in a row and then he's back in the game. Yep, I think that's, that's my exactly prediction. what he needs to do. <laughs> and it is base, so I mean, that's kind of the thing base does on a regular basis. Here we go, last 45 seconds of the game, a lot of spam coming in here. That was actually all too happy just to keep base there with the spam. And there we go, Pavel actually goes for the uh, mega health. I think he knew that base was going to go back around for the red. And uh, 20, 20 seconds. seconds, base, you have to do something. Yeah, I really don't see it happening anymore. Pavel is so well stacked. And Pavel yeah. with his rockets, he can re definitely hold himself up. Here comes base. Oh, nice oh, rocket from Pavel, and that's going to completely shut base out. And. Uh, Unfortunately, it is loses bracket, which means base is going to be oh, going home. Hold on, hold on. Wait, never mind. Rocket. Two seconds. Ooh. Yep, that's wow. There we go. GG. Maybe another two seconds, he could have done something. But yeah, GG Pavel into the uh, loses bracket semi final. What round six, I think it is. Yep. And he's going to go up against Ash. Here. Ash yeah. Both I guess they're the going to stick on the server. Yeah, it is a Russian server, likely for us. So. Stick around. Should have been some good stuff. And remember guys, the winner of this is going to face uh, Cypher in the Losers Bracket semi-finals and then of course Evil is waiting in the grand final today. Let's hope that uh, Cypher uh, has been able to relax after that Evil game. He kind of rage quit it, so he must not be feeling very good after it. We know how Cypher can be kind of an emotional player when playing against Evil. He doesn't really seem to do it against other players. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, their history Yeah, does that like, to him. Continuously losing against him when he knows that he should be beating him every time. Like, yeah. Especially when he looked at their LAN history. 
how often has evil to be in cypher online not as many yeah times. that's very true but uh, yeah online is online and evil is dominating at the moment All right, Cypher getting himself on the server as well. So we're gonna all stick to this server until the end, probably. Don't see why anyone wants to switch to anymore. <laughs> yeah, Pavel Ash. We had a uh, Pavel Ash pulling off, uh, what was it? Uh, eight overtimes or, or no, 16 overtimes. Something crazy. It was 16 minutes extra, so I say eight overtimes. Oh yeah. On a blood run. I'm getting confused with it myself. Yeah. Pavel Nash, of course, uh, teammates, both in deliberate mode. So these guys have played each other a ton of times. Yeah, most likely. Um, yeah, I'm... Unfortunately, we haven't seen too much of Ash today, so I really don't know what to expect from him. He did beat Demon, so I guess this could be an even game. And uh, neither of the players are no strangers to the map. here apparently so I mentioned Rafa in the chat yeah Rafa has been active uh, a bit lately again which is good yeah he has been and uh, apparently and, uh, he's been playing quite good as well, so getting himself back into form for QuakeCon. Yeah, speaking of QuakeCon, uh, another team was announced, of course, Cypher, Strengths, Claws, and Slimming Sip. So, uh, yeah, but uh, we'll just have to see if they're gonna get their funding done. That's, yeah, that's always that's a problem. True, guys. And uh, these right, guys are but... actually ready. So, 102 Pavel versus 102 Ash. Two, one. Should be some good stuff. I'm gonna start on Ash's point of view here. Getting the um, red armor quickly. And yeah, there we go, Pavel getting the Mega. And uh, let's see who gets this yellow. Let's it's go gonna be Ash. Ash. Yeah, Ash pushing in with the rockets. Just making sure that uh, if Pavel picks up, he's gonna take a bit of damage. Oh, good good rockets there, man. Ash. And he should be getting the frag. Pavel might be looking into escaping through a teleporter. We, we didn't hear that teleporter sound, so he's gonna get the red timing if nothing else. Or maybe he did go for a teleporter a long time ago, and I just didn't hear it. In fact, it's always a possibility. And Ash getting all the major items, getting the yellow again as well, and he's gonna be looking for frags soon. But yeah, and that's Ash on 200 200. It sounds gonna be easy pushing towards Pavel though. Pavel can be so devastating with the rockets. You really gotta know how to move against them. Otherwise, yeah. you're just gonna get pounded everywhere. Kind of getting juggled. Ash does well though. He wins himself that red armor and uh, finds Pavel around the corner. He needs to land better rockets than that though. Well, oh, he nice did land the first kill and deny the Beautiful. yellow armor. Now they're getting the mega as well, so Ash's item rotation has been quite perfect so far. <laughs> and he finds a frag, that's so nice right there. That rail just completely picked Pavel out of the air. Yeah. What's the point changing your weapon when you already have a weapon on your hand, even if it's close range? Yeah. Hey, if you can land a shot, then why not? And Ash, he knows that Pavel's over there by the yellow armor, so he's just gonna try and keep him in there with the grenades. Buy himself a little bit of time, and here we go, Pavel oh. off the teleporter. Decent damage there from Pavel, and Ash, ooh, he's a little bit early for that mega health. He does get it in the end, and a nice red finish. Rail. And the red armor is up. <laughs> Ash just completely on point with these timers. Just yeah. going around the map in a very glorious way. Ash is so good at rotating the map. 
seen him do this many, many times before. Especially his rotation when he gets in this mode. Ash looking for the trail angles in case Powell peeks again. And again, one more red armor for Ash. Vega's gonna be up soon, and uh, this time it might be Powell getting it if he's already in position. Oh, Ash sees it hasn't been taken. Maybe Powell gets the yellow. Okay, that's an item print. What a rail. But that trail is not gonna help too much as the 50 bubble was just behind Pavel at the same time. Oh. Catching a very split second glimpse there of Pavel, unable to switch a weapon and do any damage, but he kinda knows where Pavel is. Knows at least which side of the map he's on, so allowed him to pick up that red armor. Uh, it's gonna be a couple seconds here until the mega health. Ash, he's actually looking to set up a little bit of a trap, and he just saw that yellow is still up as well, so Pavel actually opting to uh, keep a bit of distance there and do some damage, and this red armor is going to be up here. Nice rocket there from Pavel. Yep, Ash securing the item for himself, and he's going to be able to get the yellow as well, getting himself a 150 yeah. again. Decent damage from Pavel, but it's actually not going to phase Ash too much. He's still looking uh, pretty, pretty healthy after that exchange. Okay, this is uh, actually the Mega Health and uh, Red Arm spawning at the same time, so Pavel getting one of them, and uh, right now Ash has the plate a bit more careful. Right here by the 50 health bubble, listening out for Pavel, he heard him up there. Gonna Just use the teleport. Just waiting for the drop down. Nope. Not gonna happen, time for Red Armor. And it's good to stop this draft, look at the LG damage from Ash. Also, rockets. Powell must be so low right now. <laughs> Ash is dropping oh, down nice for the frag. Ash. Such an aggressive move in the end, and getting the frag just completely deserved it as well. Mega health for Powell though, and Powell has rockets, so Ash has to fall back. The yellow oh, armor nice rail. Bubble are also helpful though. Uh, make that two nice rails from Ash. Yeah, Ash is really playing solid at the moment. I have uh, nothing else to say. Yeah, so fast to get onto that red armor as well. Five right, so morning. Pretty sure Ash is able to get get himself on 200, 200. No problem there. Absolutely no problem there from Ash. And, and he's also uh, going to be able to secure this uh, red armor. I like that. Oh, wow. oh the grenade! A <laughs> grenade from Ash. Beautiful. Pavel thought he would double back there, but that grenade was so well placed. Yeah, like uh, Ash uh, watches one side of the teleporter with a single grenade and the other side of the teleporter with himself. And Pavel chose the grenade. Mega health and uh, red armor again spawning at the same time, but Ash knows where Pavel is, so there's no chance it'll be a clean split. Ash going for the red armor and now going for, going for the. Actually, going for the shots on uh, Pavel. Just making sure he doesn't get anywhere. Finally getting the mega for himself as well. Very solid item play from Ash. I'm really liking it. Really liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, and that little bit of splash damage gave Ash quite a bit of information. He knows. More or less what Pavel's stack is on, so I'm gonna uh, probably try and do a bit of an aggressive push soon. Pavel only on 69 health here. Oh man, that rail would have been a kill there. And Pavel just noticed that the red armor was gone. Ash is still around. Pavel! Wow. He picked up the 25 health bubble just before taking that rail. But Ash is gonna be able to uh, get himself the fourth frag here. And uh, with about three and a half minutes left into this game, things are looking. Starting to look a bit bleak for Pavel. Yeah, and for Ash, he hasn't really made any mistakes. Yeah, actually, Nothing that been... actually bites him back. It's been more or less a perfect game from Ash here. His rotations have been really good, his damage has been good. Here we go, he's giving himself another red armor and a rail shot. Yeah, actually, a really solid performance from Ash. Here. Yeah, considering his aim is also being quite, quite good as well. Very solid rocket work, LG is working like it should. Everything's fine for him. I guess up. 
I was just gonna go around getting some uh, railgun ammo first. And already in time for the raid as well. Just watching the angles. Should be Powell getting the item, but uh, Ash doing some grenade spam. Misses that rail, that's the easiest rail. But, yeah, uh, such an easy rail there after that jump hat, but. You know, it's not bad for Ash. I mean, he's still got a pretty decent stack here. He's going to be able to get himself this yellow armor and uh, put in a challenge. The next major item, both red and mega, are going to be up at the same time. What's Ash going to go for? He's far Pavel in this little corner. He's just going to go for there. the damage. Guess it's going to be a split there. Ash going for the red, Pavel getting the mega. Oh, there we go with the rail. Most of the mega now gone. And Ash going to go for the yellow armor. Oh, fights oh. Pavel here, good rocket from Ash. Yep, good return from Pavel, but it's still more damage done by Ash. And Ash with the, still with the frag lead. Oh, nice, oh. Ash even denying that uh, 50 health bubble there. Red armor is gonna go for uh, Pavel. Ash re realize he doesn't have the stack to fight with. So he's just gonna fall back and uh, probably get uh, mega health though. Oh, Pavel is there already, he heard the teleporter. Yeah, Ash knows he's got a nice uh, four frag cushion here, so he doesn't need to do anything too crazy. He does lose out on the mega health, but like I said, he's not too concerned. Oh, Ash dropping down oh, there. This is dangerous. He almost oh. died there. 12 health left on Ash. Very good trap. Left on Pavel, so oh, very dangerous so fight there. Yeah. And Ash uh, quickly get himself back to back to 100 armor. I mean, 100 health. Basically, no armor. And the Pavel plays aggressive. He needs to. Yeah, here we go. Final minute of this game, and Pavel needs four minute frags minute. to make up, so he has to do something soon. 11 health Pavel has. Ooh, what a sick rail. Yep, and uh, Ash leaves the mega health up for Pavel. But uh, he didn't go for it. Ash just goes around. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the jump hatch trick you were talking about. Yeah. Landing on the side. That's actually pretty neat. Oh, them rockets from Ash, but Pavel finally getting his first frag, 30 seconds to go and 3 more to make this is not easy at all. This nah, is borderline impossible. Uh, he, he should have landed that rail, that would have really yeah. helped him. Yeah. Fortunately, 20 seconds left, uh, it's not gonna happen, it's and it looks easy. like Ash is gonna be going to uh, the loser's bracket semi-finals against Cypher. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. And uh, I must say, I, I can't really fault Ash's performance there, it was almost perfect. His okay. rotations were good, his damage was excellent. Yeah, just yep. look at that control from Ash. Just 16 reds. Wow. Yeah, very well played. Very solid performance from Ash. I would say um, I'm impressed with his performance as Ash is blind, it does <laughs> not say. Yeah. Oh, we do have Funny Bee in the chat, that's cool. Yeah, yeah Funny Bee. Good old Funny Bee. We're actually playing some uh, CS with Ash and Funny Bee last night. So, yeah, Ash has been practicing for this. Alright. Okay, I need a pick from Sly Guy Badass. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Spob. Just what I expected. Yeah. That is good. That is good. Because you're still on about the mayonnaise. Oh, that's that's also good. <laughs> okay, guys. So we've made it through to the um, final game here in the loser's bracket. And uh, the winner of this is going to go back into the grand finals versus evil. Yeah, so plenty to play for here. That's always uh, gonna be hard. Oh yeah, how's the prize the, pool? Yeah, the prize pool is decent. I think it was one hundred and eighty dollars for first prize. Eighty dollars for second, and uh, forty dollars for third. Yeah, so both these guys in the money. Very nice. Just waiting for a place to ready up. Uh, Ash seems to be taking a small, small break before uh, playing against Cipher. I mean, that was quite an intense game. He played against Pavel, but he was constantly timing all the items, so that's yeah. not uh, not easy on the brain. Hmm. 
Mayo and sandwich. I will never understand mayo and sandwich. Well, actually... What? Mayo's nah, awesome okay. on a sandwich. It, de- it depends what kind of sandwich you're talking about. So I was thinking of a different kind, but it does make sense when I think about it more closely. Yeah, I don't like know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm bacon, crazy. lettuce, tomato sandwich with a bit of mayo. Mm. Mm. Buzz Buzz is saying I will take Cypher. Should Ooh. be, if he plays like that. Yeah, if, if he, if he take... rotates the map like he did against Pavel, it could very well be. Could very well be. I mean, bringing it up to Pavel like that is already pretty good. Pavel is such a solid player. Yeah. So seeing Ash Evil a grand final, I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain at all. But actually... Afix saying Cypher deserves an ass kicking by Ash. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we've seen some uh, ass kicking all around today. Uh, Zbarek, the match is going to be starting in the next couple of minutes. We're just waiting on Ash. I think he's taking a short break, but as soon as he's back, we will be getting the rest of the games underway. Yep, that is correct. Turian says he fears for Ash. Cypher too strong, yeah. Well, uh, it's, uh... I guess there's a bit of love for both players today. It's understandable uh, to fear for Ash. I mean, even if uh, Cypher lost against the Evil, it's still Cypher. And yeah, exactly. he wasn't doing bad it's against the Evil. All right. Animation. Speaking of which, both these guys are ready, and here we go, guys. Final game in the losers bracket. Three for a chance two, in the grand final. One. Cypher versus Ash. Yep. Uh, let's start on Cypher's point of view. He get he's getting the mega health first, and the rockets. Gotta make sure he's getting pretty much all the weapons. I like how he's already spawned the LG area. Yeah, he's got rockets, rail, LG. Those are the three main items you want to get. Ash yep. just quickly peeked through the teleporter there, looking for the LG. And wow. there we go, Cypher heard him pick it up. Ooh. Oh, Cypher not landing fair. anything in that fight. And only losing health. But he's in the position for the red armor. I'm pretty sure Ash is able to go around and deal some damage before the item spawns. Or as the item spawns. Cypher not going to stick around though. He's so I've actually up. opted to uh, double back onto the Mega Health, and he, I, think I think he just heard Ash in the distance there, so he knows he's going to get this you know, armor, but he loses out on the red. I think there's a solid play from Cypher, not taking any extra damage, securing himself, so I think the fight will land the first rail. This is a very good start frame, but uh, Ash attacking with the LG. Nice rocket there. Oh man. Yeah, this is Ash Cypher's taking fight. a lot of damage, and another rail from Cypher. Yeah, good, but, good uh, damage here from Cypher. Ash, Ash on 84 health. Ash on 44 health now. He picked up that 25, but Ash is very, very low. Cypher's gonna look to push in here. It's gotta be so if you're getting the mega health, but uh, yeah, at least Ash has been keeping up with the damage, not completely just giving it up. But so, Ash is very low at the moment. 39 health. He is gonna be able to find that bottom 50 health bubble over by the yellow, so Ash not looking too bad, but Cypher knows exactly where he is right now. Cypher playing very sneaky, just listening for sounds, not showing himself into that uh, railgun area. But uh, not finding anything. Cypher doing well to check his corners. Yeah, he knows Ash could be anywhere. And Ash, oh, nice oh. rocket. Actually, a very nice combo. Yeah, and good damage from Ash. That's the exactly what you need to do. Cypher misses that rail. Yeah, at least Cypher yeah. got the red armor for completely clean, so. It's still uh, much better for Cypher with these items. Yeah, it looks like it's another standoff. Yeah, things seem to you know, have one or two moments of explosiveness and then very, very quiet. I think neither player wants to give away the first frag. There we go. Cypher just found Ash. Ash can't afford to uh, challenge here for this red armor. Actually, Cypher just heard a weapon switch there, so... I don't know, expecting Ash to double back. Nice rail exchange. Oh, both players are going to the rockets. Oh, this is dangerous. Cypher doing a good job with the railgun, and Ash already screaming, and Cypher can hear that. He's going to wait out on the bottom 50. And uh, yeah, Cypher's going to head towards the red armor now. I think he heard Ash nearby. Yep, item still up. Good damage there by Cypher. He should be getting the frag. He was still uh, one rail away from death, so. Yeah, that entry rocket there from Cypher was crucial. Allowed him to drop the LG and get himself a first frag. So Cypher up on the board first here. And uh, things looking good for him at the moment, especially stack-wise. He's on 200-100. Yeah, 
Yeah, Ash hasn't been able to take uh, the control or even move away the control from Cypher. Cypher on, uh, still on a very solid stack. He's gonna go on the mega area. I actually like that ammo from uh, Ash just doing a tiny bit of LG damage completely unreturned. Unreturned damage is always unreturned. Oh, Ash actually, actually got a attack. Attack. Yeah, and that's gonna cost him his life. Why, Ash? Why? I don't know why he did that, yeah. Maybe he thought Cypher was gonna go on to the uh, mega health and he was gonna do some damage, but Ash again caught at the top of his jump out with the LG. Very solid energy gonna... there by Cypher. There's yeah, Cypher pushed him say. into the ground, and Ash, his score line's going in the wrong direction at the moment. It's a negative one, and the red armor is spawning. So... Ash actually going for the steal. Hasn't taken any damage yet. Cypher finding one rail. Maybe this could be a start for uh, some sort of comeback for Ash. Mega health is up and Cypher is surely gonna go for it anytime soon now. Yeah, there we go. Cypher gets himself that mega health and still three frag three frag lead here. And uh just approaching the halfway mark in this game and it looks like it's completely the Cypher show. It's uh, you know, Ash is looking like a different player to what we saw against that half paddle. Yeah, Doesn't that have those rotations easy. down. Cypher again getting himself a third frag here. And uh yeah, Ash in a bit of trouble at the moment. I think uh, one uh, major difference between these two games is that uh, Ash didn't start out by getting a solid uh, rotation on the map. So he hasn't been able to maintain it if he never got it. Yeah. That is very true. Okay, so I feel that's quite low for once. Um, Ash might be getting this frag. He's taking out the LG and does get it, does get himself out of the negatives, getting the yellow armor as Very well. Very nice. And he Cycle should be just unable to fire another rocket there. He doesn't have a, quite a major stack to work with, but uh, now getting the red armor, he's looking good. There's still plenty of time left in the game. I don't know if uh, Cypher is gonna try and slow the game down or if he's gonna try and do some heavy con contest for the control. Regardless, Ash needs to make some frags happen. He needs to make sure his rotation is gonna be good. Now he has the 200-200 and he's gonna be assaulting the red 